So friends, now we go more in detail into GP or geometric progression. If you remember, we did uh, have an overview of what a geometric progression is. We did the most important thing in a geometric progression as opposed to an arithmetic progression with the concept of a common ratio that exists between consecutive terms. Yes, whereas in an AP, it is a case of a common difference. In a GP, you have <coughs> the consecutive terms related by a common ratio. Say you have 2, then 2 into 3, then 2 into 3 square, 2 into 3 cube, 2 into 3 raised to 4. So all these <coughs> are such that, so that the common ratio R is 2 into 3 by 2, which will be 2, or 2 into 3 square by 2 into 3, which is also, sorry, which is 3, or 2 into 3 square by 2 into 3, which is also 3. So the common ratio concept. So this is what you have in the case of a geometric progression. So we'll be taking up <coughs> this concept more in detail now. So let's see what further we have. So in the index, we're going to first take up the formula as to what a geometric progression is. So it will be of the form A. The second term will be AR, then AR square, AR cube, AR raised to 4. So if you see the first term is A into R raised to 1 minus 1, 0. Second term is this is T1, this is T2, T3. So A is a common concept involved and each A is multiplied by R raised to N minus 1. So if you see this is going to be A into R raised to <coughs> N minus 1. So the general term of an geometric progression is A R raised to N minus 1. Whichever term it is, R has to be raised to 1 less than that particular number of that particular term. Then we have the concept of geometric mean, which you can draw parallels with arithmetic mean. Whenever three numbers are in an arithmetic progression, the middle one is said to be the arithmetic mean of the other. Much the same way, whenever three or four numbers are in a geometric, three numbers are in geometric progression, then the middle one is called the geometric mean of the other. For example, if you consider this, this and this, AR is a geometric mean of A and AR squared. Then we will be taking up the concept of sum of GP, which is going to be SN is equal to A into R raised to N minus 1 upon R minus 1 if R is greater than 1. And it is going to be 1 minus R raised to N upon 1 minus R if R is less than 1. Then three numbers, suppose three numbers are in GP, then we can take them as A by R, A. And they are, if 5 are in GP, it is going to be A upon R square, A by R, A, A R, A R square, and so on and so forth. So, the difference is case of 1 by R or R. Then an M and N type of problems, which we did even in case of arithmetic progression, and addition till infinity, that means this is especially valid when R is less than 1. The same formula Sn, which is turn on R to be 1 minus R raised to N upon 1 minus R. When R is very, very small, much less than 1, as N tends to infinity, N has a tendency to move to infinity, R would be tending to 0 because it is a number less than 1, so the moment you increase the number of parts, so it turns out to be almost turns to infinity. R raised to n becomes almost 0. So in that case, the same Sn will become a into 1 minus 0 upon 1 minus r, which is eventually a upon 1 minus r. So for an infinite series, Sn would be a upon 1 minus r, which we will take up in detail further. 